you, <laughs> you circled both of them. You know, I, Again. I'm trying my best here. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. We're about to take a pop quiz and we have no idea what the subject is. Little envelope there. So violent, dude. Come dude, on. I hate tests. The paranormal arts. So we should ace this test, dude. When have you ever done an art project with a spirit? Is that what that means? Paranormal art? Listen, I cheated off of Sam every single day in high school. You did? All right, well, I do a lot of research on the paranormal. We're ghost hunters. We freaking got this. It's this gonna be easy. There. All right, let's start off with the first question. Using the word bank, match each location to its correct urban legend ghost. How the f were we supposed to know this? Oh, what are you talking about? We got this. Are you sure? Yes. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, whoa. dude, this is paranormal. We got this. Okay, okay. All right, there's a river, there's a forest, there's a, a hospital. Hospital and a mirror. So La Lorena. La Lorona. Well, isn't that like the weeping Mexican ghost? Yes, the weeping Mexican ghost. She is a spirit that drowned her husband and kids in a river, mm -hmm. I think. La Lorona La is Lorena. definitely the river. And if uh, you've ever done a ritual in your entire life, it's probably been the Bloody Mary, which yes. obviously You need a mirror for that. You need a mirror. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a witch that lives in a hospital. We only know witches are in forests because we've done Witches Forest. We right? did do a series called The Witches Forest. So that only leaves the hospital for La Planchata. La Planchata. That sounds like something you buy at Taco Bell. You have a really good handwriting. Thank you. We got it! Yes! yes! It's almost like we're ghost hunters. I knew it. <laughs> Next question! Goodbye. Oh Whoa, my that's a long word. We got this word. Triskaidekaphobia. <laughs> Triskaidekaphobia. It sounds like something with a three in it. <laughs> right? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it's dead bodies. Screw that. Screw that. The fear of witches. We definitely have been fearful of witches and I don't have Triskaidekaphobia. Yeah. So screw that. I feel like I'm a genius and it is the number 13 because Tris, I think Tres. so too. I've heard of it before. I Dude, think you it's... circled both of them. What are you talking about? I definitely circled the C. Uh, Triskaidekaphobia is the fear of the number 13. Boom! Yeah! Two for two, boys. In Mexican folklore, La Chuzas, white owls, are believed to be a bad omen, a witch that has shapeshift into an owl, a loved one watching over you, or B and C. I know it's a bad omen. Sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, lechuzas is like in every ritual. Chusas. Like all these questions, if you ever gone to school, which probably you haven't, whenever it says like answers B and this, it's, it's usually definitely that one. that one. Yeah, for sure. So it's we're just, D. We're life hacking. It's D, it's both B and C. Yeah, see, <laughs> life hacking these things. Which household item is used in folklore as a barrier against angry spirits? Holy water is not a household <laughs> item, so scratch that off. Garlic is to get rid of vampires, yeah. so scratch that off. Salt is the correct answer. And then lamps? Why is that come on the on, list? Lamps. Guys, come on, lamps? X you, you circled both of them. You know, I, Again. I'm trying my best here, You're but we know bad. it's salt. It's salt. We've used that before. Four for four. Abraham Lincoln appeared as a ghost to Winston Churchill when he was A, sleeping and dreaming, B, watching a play in a theater. He was killed when he was watching. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's when that's he got when he assassinated. Died. You are right. In his bedroom while visiting the White House, naked and getting out of the bathtub. I don't hey. mind seeing that go, you know what I'm saying? You're right about this one. You know what I'm saying? Because that's when he got assassinated. While visiting the White House. Well, that would make sense because Abraham Lincoln would be a ghost in the White House. Right, I would say it's C. Naked and getting out of the bathtub is the answer I wish for. So if it is, I'm gonna be mad. Dang it! We should have gone with our gut feeling. We wanted to see we wanted, Abe naked. We want to see big ol' Abe, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, we, we got this. A famously cursed intersection of Los Angeles has been the setting of an unexplained plane crash, the murder of a gangster, violent car accident, and many more freak incidents. Which of the following neighborhoods is home to LA's own Bermuda Triangle? Hollywood's mostly famous for the a lady. Ro Roosevelt, right? The Roosevelt, but then the sign itself is. Oh, yeah. People, we did a video there. People remember? jump off uh, the Hollywood sign and commit suicide. Downtown Los Angeles has a lot of scary places like the Biltmore Hotel. Long Beach is where Queen Mary is. That's our, like every single one of our YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. But Beverly Hills has everything. 
Yes, sir. So circle that ish. All right. <laughs> Uh, we know a lot about paranormal-ish, guys. There we go. Yes. Which pop star claims to have had a chilling close encounter with actual demons after visiting a Kansas cemetery? Whoa. This one is hard. I have no idea. So we got Miley Cyrus, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande. Did I say that right? People are going to kill me in the comments. It's uh, Ariana Grande. Cool. And then... Victoria Justice. Process of elimination. Who do you actually think would visit Kansas? Definitely not Billie Eilish. She's like 15, right? Yeah, she's like 12. And she's lived here all of her life. I don't think it was Victoria Justice. She's too busy trying to follow Ariana's footsteps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh! She's going to watch this. So Miley Cyrus. You think Miley Cyrus has been to a Kansas cemetery? You think Ariana Grande has? Miley, guess. isn't she like a country? I feel like she'd be country? more in the Midwest than any of those people. Really? Should we try Miley? I think Either. it's Ariana Grande! Really? I think it's her. I'm changing my, my gut feeling. Why? Oh! It is! Why? Because she went to the, the gates of hell. Oh, the seven gates of hell? She yes. went to the Kansas one? Yes. It's Ariana, Ariana Grande. Grande. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Thank God! Circle the following choices that are signs of demonic possession. Flies, the smell of sulfur, or another foul scent. Yes, Def yes. Trust me, it gets really ghostly in our house <laughs> <It's> sometimes. <laughs> after Chipotle, too. It's really ghostly after that. Um, superficial, charming spirits, don't think so. Scared animals, yes. yes. Damage to religious symbols. Yes. It's everything. Really? Yeah. Damage to religious Dude, symbols. Dude, you've never seen like crosses fall down and stuff? Like after we came home but from I... the Queen Mary, my cross went A, B, D, and E. I guarantee we're gonna miss one of them. Well, actually, you might be right. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. A, B, D, E. Dang it! Wait, what was C? Can, can we just talk about that? Superficially charming spirits. What? I'm gonna look that one up. I don't believe you. Fill in the blanks. Light as a blank, stiff as a blank. Do you remember? Light as a feather, stiff as a bee. A board. That was what I was. Yeah, light, light as a feather, right. stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. You could lift anything up if you try that with your friends. Oh, yeah. yeah, we just tried that. We just lifted you up. Yeah, no, it didn't work at all. It didn't work at all. Light as a feather, board. Yes. Good job, Cheers Sam. to that, dude. Mythical creatures have a long history in folklore. So do the methods of killing them. Match each creature to the weapon you would use to slay them. So we got a werewolf, we got a vampire, a zombie, and a demon. And then the objects are a wooden stake, exorcism, beheading, and a silver bullet. Garlic and a cross and stuff like that would be for a vampire, right? So connect those. Beep. Exorcism, we're trying to do that to our friend Corey because we think he's possessed, so obviously. <laughs> Get the demon out of them. Zombies, zombies are a silver con bullet. No, what are you talking about? What? The only thing that controls a zombie is its head, so you have to behead him. What are you, <laughs> no, what are you doing? One. What do you mean? I'm putting it over there. Beheading a zombie, silver bullet through the heart of a, a werewolf. All right, so obviously there's like 400 lines, but let's just go through <laughs> this. Werewolf, silver bullet. Vampire, garlic. Zombie, beheading, demon, exorcism. You got it, man. That's why I cheat off you on every test. How did that even happen? Why does that happen? Final question! True or false, you should follow Sam and Colby. Oh, weird, weird. Anyway, uh, I don't know what that was about. Oh, yeah, you weird. can read it. All right, true or false, the Vatican yeah. offers a course on exorcism that is open to the public. I'm gonna say that's true. That just sounds like it's true, you know? That'd be really cool, and if they do, we that's go. our next series. That's our next, that's our next series. If this is true, mark our words. We are going to go through With the Corey. course of exorcism for a series. Yes. Because we want it to be true, let's just say true. All right. If it doesn't, then we'll be really be like, sad. Because yeah, no, then we don't have a serious content. Anyway. Yes! It's yes! actually sick. We definitely need to do that. I think we killed that. Yeah. Like, honestly. Is, what, we, got, we missed two. I feel like getting such a high score on all these questions like shows like our, our audience like we actually know what we're doing when we're yeah something. yeah and in no way we're experts we're just so uh, we do learn something. a lot of stuff by traveling the world and doing this if you guys took this test with us let us know how you did in the comments down below and for more content go subscribe also be sure to subscribe to us as well to see all of the stuff that we talked about in this video and maybe next year we're gonna go to the vatican and learn how to do an exorcism can't miss that <laughs>